Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this is really, this is pretty interesting. We've been sitting on this for a couple of days now. Uh, I was actually out yesterday. Mm -hmm. We had several people send us a link to this story on Twitter, but fans were polled over which anime or manga should be live action next, and most replied, none. Yeah, have have you seen the the live action Full Metal Alchemist? Have you seen? Yeah, it, there, there's something. Yeah, good. They're entertaining ish, um, because they're something. There's something. The only the only one that has worked so far for me has been Alita. Um, actually, I'll be honest. Ghost in the Shell wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be, mm -hmm. but I had like zero expectations for it. Yeah, I'm just. I think people are just tired of things that are popular are being put into live action all the time. For, yeah. You know, because they don't, oh, let's just do it live action because it's cheaper. Yeah. You know, and that's at the end of the day what it's about. That's why Disney is not making new movies that are animated. They're just doing live action reboots of all their shit. It's because it's cheaper to do that. Yeah, and the, look, the thinking, the hard part has been done for you. Now, what I don't want to see from Hollywood is Taika Waititi's Akira. Like, th those two things do not mm -hmm. go well together, right? Um, but this was very interesting. We're going to talk about it before we get into it anymore. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 189,000 subs. <laughs> getting getting close to 190. And uh, we do have a lot of anime fans that watch the channel. And most people's opinions of live action anime have been negative. Save for a few examples. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've got the proper budget and the proper director and the proper technology... Yeah, but we mm, see like a Dragon Ball, film. like Dragon Ball. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, we see what happens when Hollywood decides they're gonna do live action anime on the cheap or whatever. It, it's not good. Or Netflix does it. Uh, so this is actually coming from Kotaku. Mm -hmm. Fans polled over which anime or manga should be live action next, and most replied none. Uh, yikes! Yikes! Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about every time they say they're gonna take something and make it live action. A Japanese poll asked 1,000 men and women, so this is Japan, mm -hmm. ranging in ages from teens to the 60s, to name which anime or manga they'd like to be made into live action, courtesy of Hollywood. Real quick, I want to, one, because Hollywood, I would not let any, anywhere near this, but I think it's funny, because here you wouldn't get this. There, 1,000 men and women ranging in ages from teens to 60s about comics. You're not going to find that here as much, you know? You're lucky if you find 1,000 men and women here. <laughs> that read comics, that range yeah. And that yeah. read American comics. <sighs> the reply that took the number one slot should surprise no one, really. Shouldn't. Uh, nothing. 460, 456 votes. I count about half of the votes. Um, yes, thank you. Agreed. Yeah, so that's it. That is literally it. But, there's, but here's the rest. The rest of the options. Um, it was uh, Demon Slayer got 60 votes. Uh, but it was the it was the second most popular choice at you know considerably less votes. Attack on Titan forty eight. Again, I don't think th no. these would translate. Um, don't, they did Attack on Titan live action. I think Japanese did it. it was oh, did they? Not good. But then why are they putting it in this poll again? Well, this is Hollywood. I haven't seen Hollywood. it. Hollywood. I think this they did Hollywood do a live version. action. Yeah, I haven't version. seen it. So <laughs> this is literally the article right here. Kotaku. How much did they get paid for this? Um, let's check out the comments. Let's check out the comments here. Uh, pacing is a big reason why most anime and manga wouldn't work. No, that's because they do a shitty job. It could job. be adapted, yeah. But it's, 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 should it be? Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah. So let's go out uh, to Resetera. Resetera. Oh, okay. I see what you did there. Uh, Resetera. And they're they're talking about it. Uh, they're not wrong. The best live action adaptation of the Kenshin movies. Mm -hmm. Uh, let these people choose our world leaders so they can do no wrong. Oh, I actually don't disagree <laughs> with that. Wow, I didn't expect that. I mean, that was the right choice. Uh, number one is absolutely correct. Amen. Uh, beautiful. How dare they try to take potential upcoming work away from Scar Well, here's what gets me is this is the same reason when people were asked about new Ghostbusters film in 2016, they didn't want it. It wasn't because, well, no, it's because we're against women or whatever. It's because most people are like, we don't want this. Why? We don't need this. And I got a lot of it comes down to why. And a lot of the answers is money. But most people don't want more. I agree with Dak on here. You spelled Speed Racer wrong. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go oh, off. yeah. He loves Speed Racer. I'm going to go off on a little tangent here. I, I did say that there haven't been a lot of uh, good anime movies 
damn it, Speed Racer was actually not bad. I like Speed, like Racer. Speed Racer. I do like Speed Racer. I think it's it's my favorite uh, Wachowski Wachowski thing outside of the original Matrix movie. It, it gets the 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 look right. It gets the feel right. Of course, now everybody would slam it because they're like, oh my god, they whitewashed all the characters. But it was based on the English translation of of uh, the dub of, of mm -hmm. Speed Racer. But it actually it worked. I liked it. I liked it. Go watch if you haven't seen it. Go watch it. It's a beautiful mess. Uh, well, you know what? Good. A lot of these people in Japan probably don't want Hollywood to touch it either because, you know, damn well Hollywood won't just, you know, translate it and, and do it, you know, accurately. They'll have to make sure they change races, genders, mm -hmm. you know, sexual orientations of characters and everything else because they, they have to. They have to have that, that wokeness to it or they're not Hollywood. So people are like, you're just going to, they're just going to fuck it up. Sorry, mom, but they're going to. Well, they were going to. I remember do a live action Evangelion and this is like, 20 some years ago i remember seeing images out there Weta workshop that peter jackson i guess is people were gonna work on even oh yeah and they were talking they were gonna you know have american actors in it and i can't remember who was attached to it at the time but i'm like no no just don't don't and uh a good thing it didn't happen but it would have been visually impressive i guess uh but it never happened um it would have been a disaster. Yeah, it would have been. Here's the thing. I mean, I think most people are, you know, if Hollywood touches it, it's going to be ruined. I mean, at the end of the day. Oh, these are fighting words for Pinky Boo. They can do a live action Demon Slayer as long as they, they get rid of uh, Zen. Oh. Oh, no. But Zen's great. Zen is great. Uh, it is the right, This is the right answer, though. I'm waiting, though, because Demon Slayer made so much money that I guarantee you there are executives in Hollywood right now just salivating. Like, oh my God, we could tap that. We could. Yeah, here's the thing. If you bring it, you probably can make money. If you brought it over as it was and not try to make changes to it or redo it. That's why it did well. People like the original shows. The problem is what Hollywood doesn't understand and comics is that they'll understand is the reason they're kicking your butts is because they're giving you good characterization and good stories that people actually want to watch want to read yeah um and they if they brought it over here and they were going to make it the hollywood way they would ruin everything about it that made it what it was there's no question let's do demon slayer but have it take place in 1985 in harlem right but right. it's the same story honest no it's not the same story <laughs> it'll be now tanjiro is a you know tan just tan. different tan. yeah yeah different different race different oh it's a woman now it's called the lost boys uh, yeah. so <laughs> it's I'm just like, like tanjiro's a woman uh, yeah sassy just, sassy woman from harlem you know it, it, that's what yeah. they're gonna do because they get yeah. hollywood cannot be trusted to faithfully adapt <laughs> you, anything you could just end it right there hollywood cannot be trusted but they know they know that they're getting their butts kicked because uh disney's actually bringing in an anime team and was like a manga team too to oh, work God, on yeah. star wars yeah. stories yeah. because they know that you know that they think that might get them the views they're basically throwing spaghetti on the wall to see what sticks but they know what are the kids into these days they're into that anime and manga 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 manga, manga. You know, and so they're out there like, you know, trying to cash in on that and they're going to do it poorly. I mean, they're actually trying to get artists and creators from from Japan to do it, but it's not going to trans. I don't think it's going to translate well because it's, it's what stories they're given to work with, parameters are given to work with. But they're allowed to tell their own stories with stakes and people have to earn things and, you know, calling yeah. out, you know, calling a spade a spade, then things perform much better. I mean, the first, what, three or four episodes of Demon Slayer were just about Tanjiro uh, working for it, earning, mm -hmm. earning his sword, earning his title, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Well, here, you just, I mean, because I'm not a straight white man, I don't just get it because I'm me? I know. You mean I have to actually do something? You mean I can't just sit at home all day and get, and, and you know, keep taking, tweet. you know, and just tweet and keep getting paid to do it and sit on my ass? I'm expected to go do something? Oh, my God. That's not... <laughs> I mean, we could have gotten we could have gotten the uh, Deke uh, live action version oh of, of Sailor Moon. I wondered if you're going to bring that up. What was it called Sailor Dick? I forget what they called live action Sailor Moon. It I looked don't horrible, horrible, it was awful. Now there is a live action version of Sailor Moon but from it, Japan. It's, it's not, not bad, but it's it's not it's 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 what you'd expect. They ballet it's dance. Fun. I it's mean, actually not bad. It's more of like if you're going into it prepared not to you know think this is you know the the great art that the original was. <laughs> so, 
He'll be okay. Yeah, but th- we're going to see this because, th- look, we have seen this before. This is not the first time this has happened. Anytime there's a trend or Hollywood smells money, and this this is, you know, we're they're looking at Demon Slayer, especially. And they're looking at, before Demon Slayer, actually, you know, everybody was scrambling to get uh, anime. You know, Netflix is scrambling to get anime and Crunchyroll, all that. And they're looking at this like, yeah, this is the next thing we can strip mine. We told you guys three years ago. This was coming, that Hollywood was going to try to strip mine anime and manga. We told you this was going to happen. But what they're doing is they're trying to tame it, too. They're abandoning all kinds of shit. Oh, like yeah. That. And then they yeah, then they have a, that one woman telling J- J- the Japanese creators what they oh, need the to do. Roll. yeah. Yeah, how they, should, how they should have what their shows should be like for American audiences. Don't touch it! American audiences like it just fine the way it is. Actually, the stuff they're getting that's been sanitized, they hate! Yeah. Don't listen to these people! Yeah, but uh, they'll just completely ignore. Uh, they will ignore the fans, I'm sure, and uh, we'll get more Dragon Ball Evolution mm-hmm. and and less uh, Battle Engine. Meanwhile, yeah, people were clamoring for uh, an Alita sequel, so give us the Alita sequel. Yeah, they won't, but we'll have to get more <laughs> like you know. We're gonna, oh, we're not even getting Captain Marvel two in our mind. It's just the Marvels. But they're moving on. I think I think what's going on now is they've strip mined comics. They've already taken all the good characters. Hollywood's already strip mined comics. And uh, now they're, you know, look at Marvel, especially, they're resorting to, like, the D-list characters. You know what they used to do in the past? You know, even, like, 10, 15 years ago, when, when, you, when you didn't have characters, that, you know, you wanted new ones? Yeah, yeah, you made new ones! And you made new franchises, and you made new stories. But that's hard, and that requires effort and money. Yeah, they just want to print money. They don't want to actually have to, to invest anything. Just like, well, we're just going to... Well, now they're going to strip mine Japan. Yeah. Well, are the Japanese going to put up with it, though? I hope not. I hope not. Uh, I hope not. I don't know. Are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll keep an eye on Hollywood and the uh, anime situation, the manga situation. <laughs> we look at that train wrecks that you don't have to. Yeah, we're watching it in slow-mo, just kind of flesh train. Yeah, that was a different movie. Okay. See ya. Bye.